Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and today I'm gonna to be teaching you five clever tech pranks you can pull off at the office, school, or at home. Check it out. So this is kind of the brains of the operation. Oh yeah, right it's here. a central you know, networking. I wanna show you something that. really special, and I'm not gonna unplug it, okay? Uh, okay? I'm just gonna pull a little link right here. I wanna show you something um, really special. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think everyone, relax. I mean, all, all of our gear is switched to No, it's fine. I'm just gonna pull a little bit of this out right here on my hand. Okay. And if I can do this, this should be pretty cool. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no trust no, me. No, no. Trust me, trust Rich, me. Watch, watch, watch. Dude, watch. dude. <laughs> Hold that. <laughs> so watch um, this, look. I'm just gonna rub it, watch. Look. And we're all good, bro? No way. <laughs> all right, guys, this is insanely clever. Here's the secret. You're gonna get a small duplicate piece of the same wire. So in this case, we duplicated this gray wire. What you're gonna do is get some tape and you're going to secure the end and make a little loop. When you're done, it'll look something like this. Then you're gonna secure this to a safety pin running on an elastic line up your arm. So take your safety pin and secure one end to your elastic line, and the other end of the elastic line is gonna go up your sleeve. Here's the other end of the elastic line right here, and here's that little piece of wire. Tuck it down your sleeve, and be sure you pin it to the top of your arm, not the bottom. Here's why. When you pull this extra loop of wire out, you don't want this elastic cord to cause your jacket to pull like this. So it's actually running under my arm and attaching up here. A couple tips with this loop. You can hold it in your hand like this. And keep in mind when your hand's down, the victim or spectator is not gonna see that you're holding that. But here's an advanced tip. If you're able to pull your pinky down without your middle finger, you can hold it like this. So then your hand's very free. So regardless of how you're securing this secretly in your hand, Grab the matching wire. It could be an electrical cord, a mouse wire, a computer cable, it doesn't really matter. And you're gonna look like you're pulling a loop like this. But instead of pulling the loop through, of course, you're gonna grab the loop inside your hand and pull it through instead. And that's the situation. Again, up close, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna pull this wire out of my hand, but what I've actually done is pulled the loop through and just left this alone. So at this point, pull out your handy scissors, give this sucker a cut, watch people completely freak out, and then here's the magic. Let this go as you rub, and it vanishes up your sleeve, and now you have a restored wire. This is such a killer trick, prank, and illusion. So make sure that you have a jacket that's open and isn't crunchy or tight around your wrist and you're good to go. I love simple pranks like this. You know, we're living in a world of germs and people are really overly cautious about cleaning their hands. So take some hand sanitizer and switch out the contents with shampoo or soap and sit back and watch as people squish soap onto their hand and rub it around. <laughs> oh, this is so mean. All right guys, here's a classic. Take a small piece of tape and stick it to the bottom of someone's mouse right here where this colored laser is peeking through. Cover that up, stick it down, and watch as they try to work their computer. Hey, something wrong with your, com your computer mouse? Uh, mouse repairs here. <laughs> what did you <laughs> oh, do? Piece of tape. <laughs> We're filming a tutorial. We're doing this five tutorial thing with Amy. <laughs> Hate me later. Here's another devious and clever prank you could do that's completely harmless. Take a wireless mouse or a trackpad and connect it via Bluetooth to someone else's computer and then sit back and as they try to control their computer, you interfere with moving your mouse around. You can have their mouse still going or completely disconnect theirs and just control it with yours. It's pretty awesome. Hey. What? 
Rich just taught me this one. Not another one. All right, guys, here's one of my all-time favorite tech pranks. If someone leaves their phone laying around or their desktop, you can do this prank. Check it out. You're gonna take a snapshot of their screen, and every device has its own method, but in this case, on Apple, you hold the home screen and the power button. Takes a snapshot, puts it in the images. Then what you're gonna do is move the icons all off the screen. So just slide them over and put them on to a blank screen. All right, once you have all the icons moved away and you have a blank screen, you're gonna go to your settings and select the original image for the background, set it, so put their phone back and laugh as they try to access their apps because it's not gonna do anything. This is awesome. Now you can do this exact same thing with their entire desktop on their computer. What's the matter? It won't work. You know we're filming pranks today, right? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just moved all your icons over. That's oh. a fake desktop. All right, this next prank is so devious and I love it because it's harmless. You're gonna get a couple different colors of the same type of pen and switch the internal mechanism. You could do it with types like this where the pen literally just is an internal stick. You could slide from one pen right to the next. Super simple, you'll switch a color from green to blue and then stick it back in the pin jar so people always have the wrong color when they're drawing. Pretty funny. Another way you can do this is the types of pins that you unscrew and then you pull out the mechanism with the spring right here. This is very common and you'll see this is the same across many different types of pins. So I grabbed a couple pins out of here that are very different looking, but they have the same exact insert, but one is black and one is blue. That's another way to do it. And here's yet another way. If you're in an office and you come across these pins that have the multicolored tabs on the side, all you gotta do is unscrew it, pull out all these pins and put them back in the wrong spot and drive people crazy. All right guys, as usual, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away this elastic cord that's got the, the clips on the end already set up. I have enough line here to do about five of these, so comment down below and I'll send them out to you guys. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I gotta give big props to my good friends here from Clever Ducks. They do business IT support. So check out their YouTube channel right over here. And you'll love these five tech pranks today, I hope. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed those. Hey, thanks to Rich. Subscribe to this guy's channel, it is awesome. Hit that subscribe button, guys. All right, catch you guys next time. Peace.